Well, let me just begin today by saying, you know, this is not a pile on to Pope Francis. It's a defense of the one true faith. Um, if people in leadership, your pastor, your bishop, your pope are saying things that are confusing, then we need to set them straight, not by our own opinion, not by our own thoughts, but by the previous magisterium. I'm going to read this statement from Francis. This is from December 21st, 2018. The Madonna and St. Joseph are full of joy. They look at the child Jesus and they are happy because after a thousand worries, they have accepted this gift of God with so much faith and love. They are overflowing with holiness and therefore with joy. And you will tell me, of course, they are the Madonna and St. Joseph. Yes, but let us not think it was easy for them. Saints are not born. They become thus. And this is true for them too. Pope Francis Christmas message, 21st of December, 2018. My friends, it pains me to say that this is incorrect. The people who heard him say this were led astray. He says, saints are not born, they become thus. And this is true for them too. T -t -t -t. No, no, no. Mary was born a saint. Otherwise, it would be a lie to have her birthday, her nativity on the liturgical calendar for all of these centuries, for the 1900s and the 1800s and all the way back. Same with John the Baptist. This is a denial of not only the sanctity of her nativity, of her nativity, but the sanctity of her conception in the womb of Saint Anne, the mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary. All right, so what does the church teach on what we must hold when it comes to the Immaculate Conception. I'm going to read from the decree of Pope Pius IX. Illustrious monuments of a venerated antiquity of the Eastern and of the Western Church most powerfully testify that this doctrine of the Immaculate Conception of the Most Blessed Virgin, every day more and more so splendidly explained and confirmed by the highest authority teaching, zeal, science, and wisdom of the church, and so wonderfully propagated amongst all the nations and peoples of the Catholic world, always existed in the church as received from our ancestors and stamped with the character of a divine revelation. For the church of Christ, careful guardian and defender of the dogmas deposited with her, changes not, nothing in them, diminishes nothing, adds nothing, but with all industry, by faithful faithfully and wisely treating ancient things, so studies to limit and perfect their expression, that these ancient dogmas of heavenly faith may receive evidence, light, distinction, but may still retain their fullness, integrity, and propriety, and may increase only in their own kind, that is, in the same sense and the same belief. So Pius IX is saying, look, this has always been in the church east and west. And I know if you ask your Greek or Russian Orthodox friend, hey, do you believe in the Immaculate Conception? He's like, oh no, we don't believe in that. That's heresy. We don't believe in original sin. Ask them a different way. Ask your Russian Orthodox Rokor Orthobro, say, hey, do you believe Mary has ever sinned? In even the slightest way, they'll say no. Has Mary ever had a sinful thought or a tiniest sinful action? No. Is Mary, from the moment of her initial creation, her conception, is she pan agia? That's Greek, pan agia, pan all agia, holy. Is she pan agia from the very moment? And they'll say yes. You're getting to the same idea using the Eastern lingo. And as you listen to Pius IX here, ask yourself, does this match what Francis said in 2018? doesn't. They don't fit. They don't fit. Pius IX. To the honor of the most holy and undivided trinity, to the glory and adornment of the Virgin Mother of God, to the exaltation of the Catholic faith and the increase of the Catholic religion, by the authority of Jesus Christ our Lord, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, we declare 
pronounce and define that the doctrine which holds that the Blessed Virgin Mary, at the first instant of her conception, by a singular privilege and grace of the omnipotent God, in virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, was preserved immaculate from all stain of original sin, has been revealed by God, and therefore should firmly and constantly be believed by all the faithful, Wherefore, if any shall dare, which God avert, to think otherwise than as it has been defined by us, let them know and understand that they are condemned by their own judgment, that they have suffered shipwreck of the faith and have revolted from the unity of the church. And besides, by their own act, they subject themselves to the penalties justly established if what they think they should dare to signify by word, writing, or any other outward means. Not a suggestion, not a good idea, not an interesting concept from church history, absolutely binding on the Christian conscience. And yet, we see Pope Francis on December 21st, 2018, denying the reality. How can it be that you have a man claiming to be Pope, Pope Francis, and he has revolted from the unity of the church? I know this is uncomfortable. I know you don't like me hearing this. I'm asking the question out loud. It's the question that everyone thinks that no one says.